Connor Bedard is debatably the best player in World Juniors history. Okay, actually at this point, I don't even think it's debatable. He is the best. If you guys haven't seen the hype around this kid and what he's been able to accomplish at the World Juniors thus far, it is unreal. In his last game, he circled in the Ozone twice, got like five shots on goal in one shift, and ultimately buried one of the nastiest OT game-winning goals that I have ever seen. He has been the heart and soul of Team Canada, and today we are going to celebrate that with a little Connor Bedard challenge. So I just went into Hut and picked up the 88 overall Bedard. He went for 100,000 coins, which is how much I spent on him, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. This is currently his best card in the game. Hopefully he'll get some better ones as the year goes on, but here he is. 89 speed, 94 deking, and a decent shot in there as well. So for today's video, we tossed him into our hut lineup. He's got some decent wingers on him with Mary Lemieux on the left and Connor McDavid on his right. The challenge for today's video is simple. We are going to hop into two hut games. And in each of these games, we can only score goals if Connor Bedard gets a point on the play. So much like what Team Canada looks like in real life, we are going to now take into the game today and we'll see what this Bedard card can can do game number one's a bit of a warm-up we're starting easy we are hopping into hut rush it is three so three on three on the arcade mode we have bedard in the lineup here's who we're rocking with on our team it is just a quick game to two so we score two quick goals with bedard we call it a day and we move on to the next game number two we'll be hopping into a regular 5v5 hut rivals burst mode now the challenge with this is we are going to have to keep our first line on the ice the entire game because if bedard is not on the ice obviously he can't get the point so we'll have to keep Keep him out there. He'll be a little bit tired, but we'll see what we can do. You guys know the drill by now. Of course, we have to put some packs on the line. And what better way to do it than kicking off with a New Year's player pack? For game number one, we will have one of these on the line. For game number two, we're going with the biggest pack in the game, the ultimate pack, all 80 plus overall players, and a 2.3% chance at a 90 plus. Today is the day. I just want you guys to know how committed I am to this challenge. I am picking up the Team Canada jersey so we can rock Bedard in. In his proper uniform and the only one available is 24,000 coins we are dropping 24k on a jersey for your guys's entertainment okay we got both of the team canada jerseys we are ready to hop into hut rush wish me luck in the connor bedard challenge game number one on the beautiful odr it is hut rush this might i think i've maybe made like one hut rush video on youtube all year long so we are hopping into our second and apparently my jerseys didn't update. I just spent 25K on the Team Canada jersey and they didn't even update. Oh, you have got to be kidding me after all this. All right, it is the Connor Bedard challenge. This guy is jumping like a mat. This goal is worth two. Okay, so it is one goal and the challenge is done. And we are going to have to get it with none other than Connor Bedard. Okay, Connor Bedard, the issue is... And we'll see how it comes into effect once he actually makes the NHL. He is a little smaller. A lot of people are chirping him saying he's too small. But that remains to be seen. He is doing an amazing job in the World Juniors. All right. He doesn't know that the uh, Connor Bedard challenge is, is currently going on. Okay. Bedard is getting just demolished out here. Oh, I was not ready for this first goal win situation. Bedard! Wait! Bedard lays a boom! And here he goes! Datsuk! Connor Bedard, what was that? I've never seen him miss that in his life. Okay, we had our opportunity. We tried to get a little fancy, and we absolutely threw... Okay. We got it with McDavid. We can't score with McDavid, but we're gonna find the back door. Bedard, again! Back door! Wrecked! Not gonna lie, before I started this challenge, I did not realize that it was arcade threes. I thought it was just gonna be a normal three-on-three -three situation. This is a little bit tougher. Way tougher. Okay, good move there from Kale. We're gonna find Bedard. Yep, here we go. Cut! No! Wait, Bedard, what a play! Bedard on the back check. We got lucky there. Okay, a little coaster with Bedard. A little sidestep around one. It is so hard to force the puck. I know Bedard actually doesn't have to score. We could just go for the apple. But I feel like with this challenge, it being a first goal win situation, he's got to be the one to bury it. You know what I mean? Oh! And here it is. Connor Bedard. B-way, B-way, B-way. The wheels. The step. The toe -y. Bedard hit with the boom, the heartbreaker, Sally, as Bedard with the nastiest toe drag that I have ever seen gets the job done. Connor Bedard, how do you do? Oh my goodness. That 
was disgusting. The perfect toe drag finds that right side. Looked a lot like his OT game winner goal. And we get to keep our first pack no matter what. I'm not gonna lie, that one felt good. All right, we got our first win. We are keeping our first pack, but now is where things get a little more difficult. Not only is it five on five, more players on the ice, we have to keep that first line on the ice the entire period. They're gonna be dead tired. Bedard is gonna be so slow by the end of it, but it is just two minute period. So we're gonna see if we can somehow sneak in a quick dub. Okay, here we go. Game number two, pack number two. We do have our Team Canada jerseys on now as well. I don't know why they weren't on in the Hut Rush Challenge, but here we are. We are back. We have one goal and one goal only, and that is to get the puck to Connor Bedard. Okay, now the biggest part of this challenge is going to be not necessarily, you know, getting him the puck. We just, we have to play like normal. I find with these challenges, you start to think too much. Like, I want to go coast to coast and score that toey backhand goal. <laughs> This is how it's going to be for the Bedard challenge. He rips his first shot on net. Not a bad shot, but obviously one that you want back. Markstrom can't make a save to save his life, and it goes in the back of the net. Nice shot, nice goal. Nothing we can do about that one. Okay, not the start you wanted for this challenge, but you know, that, that's okay. That's okay. We're going to bounce back. We got Connor Bedard, Connor McDavid. I should have tossed a third Connor on the line. I'm just now realizing, but you know what? I guess Mario Lemieux is not, not a bad consolation. Here we go. All right, Bedard down low. Again, not, not trying to force too much with him we'll pass the puck as needed he can get apples he just we just have to make plays all right there's bedard gets the pass across we're gonna go back to bedard i'm gonna try to find a lane here to mcdavid and we do what a pass and boom there's the connection bedard to mcdavid bing bang let's go there's one we are back we are back dude look at this lineup man imagine playing this line in real life like holy actually a nice little feed nice chemistry from the boys Good finish there for McDavid, and we are even. Okay, you know, I, I did make a mistake here, and line number two did jump on the ice. I have to be careful. I also made sure that I put Bedard on the PK and the power play units as well. So the only thing that we can't mess up is we can't get a penalty with Bedard, because then it's GG's. Let's get that over. <gasps> Ew, Bedard! I'm looking for him in front, and we're headed to the power play. Gave me a, gave me a couple extra cross checks for no reason. We're going to try to go tie up. Yeah, I want to get that tie up play and then just shove it right across to McDavid, but it's not going to work here. Okay, this is our power play. Let's get this puck back. Nice feed. Go ahead. Okay, the self pass. Hopefully that doesn't mess up our apple here from Bedard. I don't think it will. We're going to shoot this low. Lemieux is going to mess it up instead. Okay, we got to find Bedard as we do. Ew. 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 Oh, I tried to find that backhand. Good looks, though. Hey, we got about five minutes. You know what? We're going to do something strategic here. I'm going to get line two on the ice. I know we can't score. I'm going to have them go to the bench just for like a minute. And then we're going to send Bedard back onto the ice. Yeah, this might this might be questionable. Actually, let's let's get him back out. All right, that was, that was a good thought in theory. But with the shortened periods, it's basically over. Let's just survive. Just survive. I think Gardner's been on the ice the entire time as well. Four, three, two. Nice poke there, McDavid. And we are good. So we are even after one. Bedard with a big assist to McDavid, but we still have some work to do. This is a tough challenge, especially in rival. Play our game and good things will happen. Play our game and good things will happen. That's the that's the mantra of this video. Hey, Bedard, nice little feed. Hold on, Bedard to McDavid again. Hold up, hold up. McDavid! McDavid! The wheels on him! Oh my! You know, Bedard did make the outlet pass, but that goal is entirely Connor McDavid. The Connor to Connor connection right now is nuts. A huge goal for McDavid using the wheels, gets the apple from Bedard. Let's go. Dude, this is, a, this is a fun little challenge, you know? Now, the good thing is we have the lead, right? We could just lock down defensively, not let him score, and then we're golden no matter what happens. Okay, nice and smart here, boys. Nice and smart. Let's go. We got Bedard. I see you. Okay, little one-on-two situation. We're going to find, find the Mew. Oh, I try to give that a little, little sauce, and we're good. Got to get Bedard a goal here, though, you know? Got to get Bart. Bedard? Oh, what a play. Great cut. Finds the net. But darn, find that net. Oh, he's got it back. This guy's... He's got the puck on a string. Okay, the chase eventually did work because Bedard is absolutely gassed. We still have half the period left. Can't change him. Got to keep it rolling. McDavid on the rush. Okay, Bedard got off the ice. Unfortunate timing, but we're going to get it back on the ice. And I'm going to just wait here for him to go back to where he does. <gasps> That would have been sick. I wonder if this guy realizes what we're doing at this point. Like, every time we go up the ice, we're just trying to pass it to Bedard. I don't know if... It, oh, my. Oh, my gosh. 
What a move. I should I should have taken that shot. After you make a move like that, you got to just take the shot with it. You know what I mean? We tried to force it a little too hard. Got lucky there. He missed the net. One minute. Third period's going to be fine. We're, I'm not really too worried about the third period. I just want to survive the rest of this period as we are going to get one last rush. McDavid with wheels is skating this slow. We're going to fire this low. <gasps> Rebound! Almost went into the net. I'm low-key kind of glad it didn't. If a goal goes in, like if I accidentally score a goal with someone I'm not trying to, and it's not off a of Bedard point, I'm going to have to pull my tenny and just give him a free goal. I think that's a fair trade. All we have to do is survive one period. One period is all we need. That's fine, man. We got this. If we get one more goal, it's GG's. McDavid. Oh, I thought we had him on the wheels. Utilizing this McDavid a lot. But Bedard, I mean, Bedard's been an impact player as well. Let's not, let's not discredit what Bedard has done in this game. Here we go. We got a wheels. We'll get it up to Bedard. We're going to put on put on a little spin out. <gasps> Ew! A diving shot from Bedard too. What an effort. Oh, yeah. We're gone to the races again. Okay, we do have to hold up here as Bedard has not been a part of this play. We get it over to him. Yep. Between the legs. Oh! Oh! What a save! <laughs> that between the leg shot was actually insane, though. Nice look. We're going to find Bedard. I'm looking for you. Ah, he, I thought he was going to beat him to the outside. He didn't quite get there, though. It's all right. Still a good play. We got Bedard with the puck. Bedard puts on the brakes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not able to get it to go. And even if it doesn't, we still have our 2 1 lead. Nothing there. Nice save, Marky. Nice save. I think that's Marky's first save of the game, I'll be honest. Line one is dead. Now, I'm going to get a whistle. Let's get a whistle, timeout, and then we're golden. Then we'll have Bedard for the rest of the game. We just need a quick one here. I want Bedard to cover up, March from rather, to cover up this puck. Here we go. Hold on. We're going to find Bedard. Yep. Robbed on the robbed on the B hand. Come on, Bedard. Find it. Find it, Bedard! The back of the net is there! Dude, holy, we're gonna get scored on. <gasps> oh my Markstrom! You legend! I don't know if Markstrom actually made that save or if it just happened to hit off the post, but Markstrom did go in for the desperation save. Alright, we're gonna go. No energy left on the forward or the D. He's gonna try to force that. He does. Lemieux on the half B way. Bedard, I'm waiting for you. 16 seconds on the clock. Aline. Bedard! robbing the block again three two one back door what a save marky as we somehow hang on for dear life connor bedard challenge complete i know we didn't get a goal with him in the second game but he had a huge assist on the first play he threw the puck to mcdavid on the second one and a deal is a deal points from connor bedard in every single game in game number one i mean that was the nastiest toe drag that i've ever seen but in game number two he helped out. He had his impact. We got the win. And most importantly, we are keeping both of our packs. A dominant performance here. Connor Bedard ends up with the second star of the game with the two apples. 15 shots on net, 13 TOA. I think Bedard probably had 10 shots himself, but he just could not get it to go. That was a fun little challenge. You guys got to let me know what you think about challenges like this. I know it kind of changes the way that we play the game, but I had an absolute blast with this one. Now comes the packs. We have two packs. We are keeping both of them. Them. Up first, the New Year's player pack. We will end it with the ultimate pack, all 80 plus overall. Now, listen, our pack luck has finally started to shift. It feels like we are getting purples in almost each and every video. But the thing is, we are not getting the purples that get you excited, right? We're getting just the bottom of the barrel, the 86 overalls that you don't want to see. So today is the day that I think we get something to actually get hyped about. We also do have team of the year coming up at the end of this week. Stay tuned for that. We'll have a lot of content, a lot of packs coming from that as well. First pack, not looking great. This is the new year pack, and this is what our pack look is going to look like here in 2023. Happy New Year to you and, and your family as well. As my best pull is going to be an 81 overall, Jeff Skinner. Never mind, an 82 overall, John Klingberg. Fire me up. No, we do have an 83 overall, John Gibson. My apologies, Gibson. As our first pack is an 83 overall, Gibby. Sick. Dude, I don't care about the first pack. That was just a throwaway pack, the warm-up game. This is where it actually counts. The ultimate pack. 20 items, all 80 plus overall. Will there be a little 90 overall sitting at the end of this pack? 84 overall, Tony D'Angelo to start. You know, it's it's okay. It's not terrible. 84 overall. 84, 85 patch already. 84, 85. Give me the 86. No, okay. 80, if we get an 86 in this thing, I'm going to be a little rattled. We're looking for the 87, 88, 89, 90 in this one as the start to the pack was hot. 
The back of the hack is getting cold. Landeskog got an 84. Good for the team of the year sets that will be coming here on Friday. Four cards left. Three, two, and is it going to come down to the final card? Everything on the line. The Connor Bedard challenge in three, two, one, bang. 81 overall, Ryan McDonough. So just like that. Honestly, could have been worse. Could have been worse. We got an 85 overall patch ready. We got a couple 84s that we can use for sets as well. Our pack luck here in 2023 is just the same as it once was. Hey, the Connor Bedard challenge was a massive success. Had a lot of fun in the process and scored some nasty goals to go along with it. If you want to see more challenges like this one, let me know. Hit the video with the like. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers subscribers and when this video comes out there's a little team usa versus team canada world juniors action going on so best of luck to both of the teams whatever happens that's it for me i'm nasher and i'm out peace